Hello Scrappers, this is Lorraine from Card Creations. In my previous video I showed you how to make the charm window card and I ran out of time so I'm just going to go ahead and just finish up the last couple pieces that I needed to add to the card. I showed you the little um, border for the ring on the back side uh, or the cut on the back side. Just wanted to attach that. And then I had cut um, a butterfly from the Walk in My Garden Cricut cartridge. And, oh, well, actually, this was not from that cartridge. This one was from the Home Decor Cricut cartridge. And uh, I cut this at two and a half inches. And I cut two of them and put foam tape on the back of that to add there and then I thought it would be nice to add one to the very back <clears throat> just like that and then uh, this this strip of pink cardstock I didn't have my scissors with me so I'm just gonna go ahead and just work that in there and see if I can get it to fit right there like that Okay, and that completes our charm window card. Now we're going to go ahead and, and dive into the next window card. This one is uh, just a little bit different. I did a rectangle cut, and um, I cut this rose from the Walk in My Garden Cricut cartridge, and I cut it at two and a half inches. Uh, I started with a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch cardstock and I'm going to show you how I actually cut my window uh, for the top of the card and I have put it uh, attached foam tape, double foam tape to the back and I'm going to attach that to the front there. This is really quick and simple. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how I cut my window and on my top mat, uh, I use this um, scallop square punch. It's a 2x2 two by, two by Marvy. And what I do is I go ahead and line up the edge of my punch with the edge uh, on the left side edge of my cardstock and make sure it's all the way in. And I'll go ahead and punch that. And then I'll do the same thing on the right side. Just line it up to the edge of the punch just like that and there you have your window for your card and uh, the next thing I'm going to attach is my rose and I put that on one layer of foam tape and I'm just going to add that right there and then um, I cut another strip of uh, paper or cardstock with one of my punches and I ran this through the Xyron and I need to use that more often because I got a great deal on, on my Xyron when Michaels had their 60% off coupon. So I've only used it like once or twice but now I realize how much I need it with these little intricate pieces. So we'll just remove that and I want to add this to the front of my card. I did a white one on this one. The sample card that I showed you I did a a pink strip. But this one I wanted to do in white. And I do have a little bit left over so that hangs over so I'm going to just go ahead and trim that. There we go. And then I want to add a small bow to the front, like this one. And uh, I've already got it made, but I'm going to just demonstrate real quick how I do it. It's, it's pretty easy, so um, let me just trim this, and then I'll show you real quick how I do it. Just get my ribbon and just make two loops. and. Cross one over the other, tuck it under, 
and then pull your your ribbons and then you can adjust your bow however you like. I attached my bow with uh, glue dots that I made with that uh, glue. Uh, from what I heard, you're not supposed to mention the name brand. I guess some, somebody's had some difficulties with the maker of that type of glue. But anyway, on the inside, I just cut uh, a mat and then did the same thing with my border punch uh, uh, as I did on the front, just a different pattern, and attached that. I did run the front of the card through my cuddle bug, the divine swirls, and that's pretty much the card. Now uh, I'll have another video with uh, another type of window, so stay tuned for that. I wanted to show you, since I have some extra time, I found these little boxes at Walmart for 50 cents and I thought it would be a great idea to store your uh, solutions cartridges in this type of box. It even came in that uh, green color, um, cricket green color. And uh, what I did was I copied the uh, insert on my computer, or I just scanned it, and then I cut it and adhered it to the front. I laminated it first and then attached it to the box. And what I'm going to do is when I store them on it, its side, I'm going to uh, just write a label at the top indicating what, what's on the inside. So that's just a little tip there. And that's all I have for you today, so thanks for watching.